In this video, we're going to show you how to add apps to your right-click menu in Windows. This will work the same for Windows 10 and Windows 11. So in uh, Windows 11, you might know we have this new uh, right-click menu where you have to go to Show More Options. And then from there, you'll have your normal options that you're used to seeing. And then we have a video on how to change this back to the Windows 10 style if you want to check that out. So I already added a new one for Notepad here. So we're going to add another one for uh, the calculator. And then we're going to add one for Word because how you do that uh, is different. So I have a little cheat sheet here. So the first thing we need to do is go to this key. So I'll put this stuff in the uh, description. So we're going to open the registry editor. I type in reg edit. And then the easiest way is just to paste this from the description in there. Press enter. And now you can see we have the shell section here. And you can see here's the one I have for uh, notepad. So to do this, we're going to do one for uh, calculator first. So we want to right click on shell, new key, call it calculator. Okay. And then on this default here, you want to double click this. There's nothing there. You want to put ampersand calculator. So this is how it's going to show the display name so you could technically make it whatever you want as long as you put that in front of it. Okay, so now that we have that, we're going to do a new key again and call it Command. And then under that we have another default, so this is different. So we have the default here where we put the calculator, ampersand calculator, and then we have another one here so with this, we need to double click and put the, the executable, which is calc.exe. So you need to know this. So for uh, Windows apps like, you know, Notepad, Calculator, Paint, that kind of thing, you just need to put the name because it should be able to find the path for it uh, for most of them, not all of them. So now we just click OK. So now we should be able to right click, show more options. Obviously, in Windows 10, you're not going to have to do show more options. And now we have Calculator. Okay, so now we're going to do one for Word because it's going to be a little different. So back to Shell. Well, it was kind of the same, just a different for the last part. New key. We'll call this Word. And then we're going to go up here again. Ampersand Word or whatever you want to call it. And then right click. Let me get a little more space here. Right click on Word. New key key again, command, so this is where the command is stored. And so now here, we can't just put word.exe because that's not going to work. So you have to find the path to word, which is right here. Let me stretch this out. So program files, x86, Microsoft Office, Office 16, or whatever version of word you have. And then winword.exe, which I have here. So I'm just going to copy this. Paste it in there, because that's the command to run Word. Click OK. So now we right click, show more options for Windows 11, and now we have Word. So the gist of it is, you go to the shell key, uh, you make your new key with whatever app you want to run, and then within that, let's go to this notepad for example, you have the name so this value is the name, ampersand, name, which could be whatever you want. And then another key, subkey of that is the actual command. And then that's where you add, you know, notepad.exe or calculator .exe or calc.exe, that kind of thing. And like I said, for Windows apps, most of them, you don't need the path. If it doesn't work, then you'll have to add the path. And then for other non-Windows apps like Word and Excel or, you know, Photoshop, whatever you want to do, you have to put the, uh, the whole path to the executable in there. Okay, so I'll put this stuff in the description, then you could uh, try it out for yourself and see how you like it. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.